It's time to talk. Well, we're all gripped by the horrific scenes coming out of Japan following an 8.9 magnitude earthquake and the series of tsunamis which have brought the country effectively to its knees. They truly are the most disturbing images of human suffering. And maybe now is the most opportune moment for the world to consider the undeniable truth that it is we humans that are causing much of this seismic activity. I'm not talking doomsday stuff here. It's based on science, proven science, that suggests the unprecedented forms of mining our species is now engaged in across our planet is responsible for increases in earthquake frequency and intensity. In Australia, the Beaconsfield mine collapse was caused by a minor earth tremor, most likely triggered by the incredible type of mining that was being undertaken in that area. And there is at least one scientific study which concludes the Newcastle earthquake of 1989 was caused by 200 years worth of coal mining in that region. The earthquakes we're experiencing in our lifetime are of biblical proportions. And as we all know, they're happening too frequently to simply be Mother Nature moving her furniture around. We need to take step number one and acknowledge that human beings are often responsible for earthquakes. If you look into the type of mining, both on land and undersea, your mind would boggle. They are tinkering thousands of metres below the Earth's surface, and many scientists are convinced this activity sparks changes in tectonic forces. Now, what do we do about it? I have absolutely no idea. But the fact is, we are currently living in a world where most of the population is ignorant of the fact that humans are the key for many of our recent seismic disasters. That's something that we do have to change. We need to start talking about this. Christian D. Close, he's a senior research scientist of Columbia University's Earth Observatory in New York. He has publicly released his findings that Newcastle's 89 quake was caused by the removal of millions of tonnes of coal from that area. He states that this coal mining caused much of the stress that contributed to the quake and, ironically, the monetary damage caused by the earthquake in Newcastle exceeded the total value of the coal extracted in that area. He stated that Australia wasn't generally considered to be seismically active and mining in the area had altered tectonic forces triggering the earthquake. Now, according to his report, coal mining isn't the only human activity that can trigger earthquakes. Dr. Close identified more than 200 human-caused tremors, mostly in the past 60 years. They were rare before World War II, he said. Most were caused by mining, he said, but nearly a third came from reservoir construction. Oil and gas production could also trigger earthquakes, he found. Close stated that human-triggered earthquakes were particularly dangerous because they often occurred in seismically inactive areas. That means areas where the populations generally were not prepared for earthquakes. Now, most disturbingly of all, Close reported that mining engineers weren't examining this problem because they were largely unaware that they were responsible for causing earthquake risks. It's time the world started to have this discussion. This isn't Armageddon stuff. We are the ones responsible for the increasingly violent planet that we live on. One thing's for sure. We can't begin to find solutions until we acknowledge that we are the cause of the problem. It's time to talk.